Good morning. Prosperity and well-being are the themes for the day on the occasion of Danteras. We expect a higher start following a positive finish on Wall Street and Europe. Asian markets are trading mixed and markets in Japan are shut for the day. Whether early gains will be held remains to be seen. The market could turn up again provided there are no nasty surprises on the external front. The RBI has hiked the policy rates for the sixth time this year to contain inflation. And the central bank has hinted at a pause but is ready for action if the need arises. In the US, the Republicans are projected to win control of the House, but the Democrats could retain the Senate. The two-day FOMC meet kicked off on Tuesday and the Fed policymakers are widely expected to announce a further round of quantitative easing. Most markets will be able to react to the Fed action only on Thursday and that is when we will see the historic listing of Coal India. Also, the central banks in the UK and European Union will review their policies on Thursday. The Bank of Japan's policy meeting is slated for Friday as is the monthly US payroll data. And don't forget the Mahara trading on Friday. The Nifty failed to surpass 6,150 but found support at 6,075 for the second consecutive day. As long as it manages to stay above 6,075, the probability of a pullback towards 6,230 is high. When the Nifty will hit a new all-time high is anybody's guess but the essence would be a smooth one. In case of a fall, the Nifty is likely to find support in the range of 5,950 to 6,100. The results to be declared today are Aurobindo Pharma, CESC, ENIL, Gale India, GTL, KEC, International, McLeod Russell, MTNL, Nithin Fire, OBC, Shasun Chemicals, Tata Sponge, TTK Healthcare and Williamson Megor. The FIs will advise of Rs 4.6 billion in the cash segment on Tuesday provisionally according to the NSE website. The local funds will net sellers of Rs 2.02 billion. In the FNO segment, the foreign funds will net sellers of Rs 6.46 billion on Monday. Moving on to the recommendations, the technical calls are a buy on Oracle Financial. We recommend traders to buy the stock above levels of Rs 2,320 with a stop loss to be maintained at Rs 2,290 for a target price of Rs 2,395. And a buy on Infosys Technologies. We advise high risk traders to buy the stock in the range of Rs 3,015 to Rs 3,025 with a stop loss to be maintained at Rs 2,990 for a target price of Rs 3,095. The derivative strategies are long Roland's November future in the range of Rs 1085 to Rs 1088 for a target price of Rs 1105 with a stop loss to be placed at Rs 1075 and long pantaloons retail November future in the range of Rs 479 to Rs 481 for a target price of Rs 490 and the stop loss is to be placed at Rs 474. Thank you and have a great day ahead and wishing you all a happy Dhanteras.